know, I might not look like a barista anymore, but you know, that's still where my heart lies is working behind the bar and making coffee for guests. <laughs> The path that I took was rather circuitous. I was a classical musician for most of my life. I was good enough to get the jobs that I didn't want and not quite good enough to get the jobs that I really did. I'm not much of a smile, I'm more of a grimacer. And I loved roasting coffee at home. I had this geeky little hobby of roasting on a perforated baking sheet in my house, filling my kitchen with clouds of smoke. So I just did it. I was desperate enough and unhappy enough in my current life and work that making a big change like that didn't seem that scary. Also ignorant enough, that kind of helped too. There were a couple weeks where it wasn't super busy and then one week in January, I looked up and there were about 15, 20 people in line. So word had gotten out. It kind of seemed like it was like that for the next 10 years, you know, just like trying to bust out that line. So I came across Blue Ball Coffee in 2010 as a customer of the Ferry Building. I immediately thinking, oh, you know, isn't this weird this company's doing it this way? And then I suddenly thought, oh my God, this is so amazing. It just had this way of pulling you in. It was all, almost like it was mystical, the experience. James is extremely good at the product and design and the foundation of the business and the philosophy and the culture. But I think he needed someone to think about growth and next steps and how would you grow, where would you grow, where would you get the money from, who would you hire. So we decided in 2012, why don't we partner together? Quite a few things have changed, but some things happened. Grinding everything to order, brewing everything to order, we're still dedicated to the hard way and I don't have a problem with that. You shouldn't grow and not get better. That seems like a bad way to live. From sourcing our coffee, roasting our coffee, how we store our coffee and look after and nurture it and package it and get it to the stores and the baristas that we hire, it's a craft. It looks easy to do and it's really hard to do. It's sort of humbling to realize that without the people working, we're nothing. She just asked me why is it called Blue Bottle and that, that's my best guess, the giant blue bottle. When you see the latte art, you'll realize it's okay. pretty exotic. complicated. You want to make something that's so delicious that makes somebody really happy with it and have that moment with them where you can kind of celebrate. That's why we're all here.